Hello everybody. Uh, today I'm featuring this uh, Alking Mini Projector. It's a digital projector which I had uh, purchased on Amazon. Um, it's an important tool in my opinion if you're an artist and well, whether you are a hobbyist or a professional, um, I think it's a very useful tool to help you in your drawing. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to uh, unbox this. Here's the uh, remote. It's very similar to a TV remote. You have your electrical cable. Now here is an HDMI cable. It's a male to male. And here's your good old-fashioned RCA cable. Um, I'll explain later uh, what you can use this for. So, here's the uh, user manual. And here is the projector itself. It's nice and small. Very easy to carry around, especially if you're on the job, on the work site. Okay, here's the uh, body of the projector. It's got a nice clear lens. And uh, here are the buttons if you don't wish to use the remote. Now the remote comes in handy if you are doing a large scale piece and you have to step away from your work. But personally, since I work fairly close to my artwork, I like to use these manual buttons, um, especially if you are under time pressure and you have to finish your project. I use these and uh, they may be a little confusing at first, but with some practice, you get the hang of it. Okay, and then here's the adjustment if you want to raise or lower the image on the wall or on the paper. And the great thing about this uh, device is its LED and it handles this is one of my favorite features is it has a slot for a micro SD card. Here's your USB, I mean, uh, USB port is right here. This is for VGA. This is for the older type um, plug for monitor. And this is the more up to date um, HDMI which they provide you with a cable and here's the slot for the AC plug so 
So I will go ahead and show you how to use this. And uh, I am going to do a line drawing uh, for starters. It's a simple way to demonstrate this. I'll be right back. Um, as you can see on the screen, this is a tripod and I have attached the projector to the tripod. Now, this is small enough, this device is, is small enough to function uh, just being placed on top of a table, but for demonstration purposes, I uh, put it up much higher. And as you can see, here's the piece of watercolor paper that I'm going to project the image on. And uh, the image is stored here. So I have a couple of JPEGs that are stored in this thumb drive. Uh, one in color, one in black and white. And it goes into the um, USB port right here. Let me just make sure it's in tight. Okay, and I'm going to use the remote and press the power button. Okay, let me turn the lights off. Mm -hmm. Now, it took me a, a while to focus this on the wall because I wanted the image to be centered on the watercolor paper but right here if you can see you can focus using the lens like so you turn it clockwise or counterclockwise and then you can use this wheel as well to focus uh, there are a few variables. You can also move the projector back and forth until you get a clear picture. Now, let me explain this term keystone. Now, keystone is a corrective adjustment. Here, let me show you. It changes the angle. Um, if you want your picture to be perfectly flush to the wall, uh, in other words, at a 90 degree angle. So uh, I know it's a little difficult to see right now, but that's what keystone means. It's like you, you adjust the angle of the um, image so it's perfectly flat okay so now i'm going to try to access the image on this usb thumb drive i'm going to click ok all right so now the menu shows 
the two pictures that I have here. So I select this. Okay. And I'll click OK again. starts to do a slideshow but I can make it pause I click pause okay as you can see on the screen I've uh, I've been able to uh, focus the image and size it it takes a little bit of doing because I wanted the portrait to be exactly in the middle of the paper, paper that is taped to the wall. So um, this is the part that's a little difficult, I have to be honest, because um, focusing, especially if it's a portrait, the image has to be very clear that uh, when you start tracing, there's no turning back. You have to do it right the first time. So it's worth it to spend the time, no matter how long it takes, just to get the focus right and the angle right. So, um, the next step now would be to take a pen or a pencil and start tracing the image. Now, I find it easier to trace a black and white image than a colored one because sometimes the color can be distracting. And with a black and white, you can clearly see the borders and lines. So uh, the next step will be to do the actual tracing. 